Hi guys, it's Legionero. Welcome back to the channel and I would also like to welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Today I wanted to do a quick pattern review. This pattern review is going to be on Simplicity 8988 and I did view C with the collar. I don't know if you can see that. Right. And I decided to color block because I wanted to make a color block outfit. Now I wanted to make this in red and black, but lo and behold, I did not have any red ponting knit in my stash. I don't know how that happened. When I go back to Fine Fabrics, I'm going to load up on red ponting knit. <laughs> so I decided to make the shirt in black and white, which um, I was kind of happy about because it reminded me that I made a color block pair of pants using Simplicity 8378. I made um, white on the front and black on the back so I figured it would pair well with the black and white color block top that I made with this simplicity pattern. I cut a medium for this pattern because I wanted the um, big and slouchy look of a, um, a top like a kind of like a chunky sweater type look I wanted. So I decided to cut the 14 to 16. So with this pattern I have to admit that um, with patterns in general, I don't really read the instructions unless I just get absolutely stuck on a pattern. Um, sometimes I will, sometimes I don't. But most of the time, the diagrams, the picture diagrams in the pattern will help me to put the pattern together. I'm a visual learner, so if I can see it, um, videos are better because I love a step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, but if I can um, see the pictures, or either see it being done, I can put it together with no problem. But this pattern is very, very easy. Um, I was able to use the diagrams, the pictures to um, show me how to make sure that I did the um, color blocking correctly because you have it um, across the chest here and the top of the sleeves. So um, the diagrams were actually very, very helpful. But um, really, honestly, you don't really need them. This is a very easy pattern. Um, I'll have to look on the website to see what they classify the pattern as, but very easy pattern, very easy to put together. I do highly recommend it for the for beginners. And it also has a lot of different views on the pattern, so um, if you don't like the color block version, you can make the other views that are on the pattern. I think um, the model on here how it has looks like the exposed seams. I think that's really cute. So that would be a nice view to do. Um, not sure how it will look color block, but somebody can probably put it together the color block and it'll look amazing. <laughs> so the fabric that I use is a black and white ponty knit that both I got from Fine Fabrics. And it didn't take very much fabric at all, especially when you're color blocking. So whatever contrast color you're using, you're not gonna use that much fabric. So that's what I liked about it as well because with some of the white fabric, I still had some white fabric left over. So my overall thoughts on the pattern is a great pattern. I highly recommend it for beginners and you can do so much with the color blocking on so it. So because I picked the 14 to 16, of course you know the sweater was huge. So I'll pop a picture on the screen so you can see how huge it was. <laughs> I had to take about three inches off the sleeves and I also added some elastic to the sleeves as well so it wouldn't be so um, wide and long and would be coming down. I do sometimes like a, a shirt that comes down past my wrist but with this particular shirt I didn't want that look so I added some elastic to the um, hem of the sleeves so it would fit a little better. <laughs> but yeah you see by the picture it was huge. <laughs> But that was the look I was going for. I just had to kind of make a couple of tweaks to it to make sure that it looked right. I do still want to make this in a black and white. Black is my favorite color. Um, but I also think like a pattern, like maybe a hound's tooth or something like that. I have some hound's tooth in my stash. I might try that. But yeah, some hound's tooth or something like that. A nice design as the color blocking um, maybe do well as well with this top. So. Let me know in the comments if you have made this top, if you plan on making it, if you have make it, made it, did you color block it, and how did you like the pattern? Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, 
click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.